Anglo-Saxon Course 2, Lesson 92, is on percent of change. So the county's population increased 15% from 1980 to 1990, but the population in 1980 was 120,000. 120, what was the population in 1990? So in this one, we're going to have draw our ratio box, and we're having an increased amount. So our change is going to be a positive change because we're going up. So I'm going to fill in the information I know. So the original in 1980 is going to be 100% because it's the entire population. Our change, we know that he, it's increasing 15%, so I'm going to have plus 15%. So then my new amount is going to be 115%. Okay. For actual count, the original number is 120,000. So this is going to be 120,000. Um, I don't know what the actual count for change is, and I don't know what the new is. Okay? And I want to know the population in 1990. So my, now I can take this information and make my make my um, fractions. So it's going to be 100 over 115 equals 120,000 over n. Okay, so now I'm going to do cross products. So I end up with 100n equals 120,000 times 115. Okay, divide both sides by 100. Okay. And I'm going to just erase some so I have more room. So I end up with n equals 115 times 120,000 divided by 100. I can cancel off some zero. I can cancel the 100 and the 120,000. So I get 100 equals 1. 120,000 is equal is going to equal 1,200. So now I have n equals 115 times 1,200. Okay, after you multiply that together, that will equal 138,000. Okay, so that is the population in 1990. With this one, the price was reduced 30%. If the sale price was $24.50, what was the original price? Again, you're going to make your ratio box. You have your percent and actual count. You have your original amount. This time, we're reducing 30%, so it's going to be a minus change. And then your new amount. Okay, so the original percent is going to be 100%. We're taking off... 30%. So my new percent is going to be 70% because 100 minus 30 is 70. Okay, I don't know what the original price was and I don't know what the change is, but I do know that the new price is $24.50. Okay, now I can do my proportion and we're looking for the original price so I don't need to find out the change. So my proportion will be 100 over 70 equals my original amount over $24.50. I'm actually going to change this letter because that looks too much like a zero. We're going to change it to R. Okay, so we do cross products. So I get 70R equals... 100 times 2450, $24.50 $24 is $2,450. Okay, divide both sides by 70. So R is equal to 35. So $35 was the original cost. Okay, this last one a merchant bought an item at wholesale for $20 and marked the price up. 75% to sell the item at retail. What was the merchant's real retail price for the item? So draw your ratio box. 
percent actual count. Okay, we have our original wholesale amount, so we're going to put W with a plus change because he's marking it up, marked up the price 75%. And then my new price. So my wholesale price is going to be the 100%. He's marking it up 75%. So my new is price is 175%. The original price is $20. So the actual count is going to be $20 for the wholesale price. And then he has his change and his new amount. Okay. It asks for the merchant's retail price. So I don't need to know what the change is. So now I can create my proportion. So I end up with 100 over 175 equals 20 over n. Okay, we do cross products. 100n equals 20 times 175 is 3,500. Okay, divide both sides by 100. And n is equal to... 35. So the new price is $35. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.